Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so as you can see from the title of today's video, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look I have going on right now. Very bold, very intense eye, kind of cool tone lip, very, very cool, very different. And it's a special video because it is using the Swamp Queen palette by Graveyard Girl. She collaborated with Tarte Cosmetics. Graveyard Girl is a YouTuber here on YouTube and she's so popular, she has like 7 million subs and she collaborated with Tarte and it's just so cool to see such an amazing person. Luckily I have met Bunny in the past. I met her at I believe it was Texas Beauty Con like a year and a half ago and she was doing a meet and greet at Tarte's booth and she was such a sweet person and just so kind and down to earth and just so cool, you know what I mean? Like she's so unapologetically herself. I'm so proud of her for doing this collaboration with Tarte, it's so cool. Like she's gonna be inside Sephora's, you know what I mean? Like that is absolutely amazing and the PR package that it came with, what? It came with a little alligator and little alligator wrapping paper, it was just the cutest Thing ever it's so 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 cool this is the look I came up with with the palette I have it on my eyes right now I asked you guys on snapchat and on Twitter which you guys should be following me on if you guys aren't already Manny MUA on snapchat Manny MUA 733 on Twitter check out those I'll leave them somewhere on this video I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see a more natural look with this palette or a more bold and dramatic look with this palette so what ended up winning was the bold look and that's why I have such a bold look on my eyes right now I've been doing tons of bold looks recently but you guys seem to like them and you guys have been voting for bold, so that's what I came up with today. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on. I'm gonna go and get into this video now. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Annie MUA and welcome to my channel. <laughs> yeah, let's go and get into this full face graveyard girl bunny look. So let's go and get started on today's video bare face nothing on my face right now I wanted to do a full face video today because tons of you guys like it when I do full face videos So you know what I'm listening I'm listening to you guys and I love you guys and I'm listening Okay, so first things first we're gonna prime we're gonna use the makeup forever step one equalizer in the smoothing at the moment This is literally like my favorite pore filling smoothing primer out there I would say that this one and benefit professional are like my favorites so for foundation for today's choice we're gonna be going in with the Cogendo aqua foundation I just love this foundation it's so freaking pretty I'm gonna take two pumps maybe two and a half maybe three let's be crazy I'm in the shade one two three it gives you a very nice lightweight coverage but it's very buildable so I really do love this, and so I like to put this around the face, and then of course I'll conceal on the areas that I need a little bit more help, like underneath my eyes and whatnot. So we're just gonna take this on a beauty blender and just pat this into the skin. Okay, so I need a little bit more help on the forehead because I am breaking out a little bit on the forehead right now. I just have been. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible in the 103 and just put a little bit of that on the forehead and maybe a little bit on the nose as well because this foundation is definitely more on the luminous, dewy side. And I just want to add a little bit more coverage with the L'Oreal and add a little bit more mattifying effect in the T-zone. So let's go ahead and conceal. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in Y23. I've not used a concealer in a fucking minute. So I'm excited to try this out. I forgot. I don't, I don't even know how to use this again. Squeeze? Okay, yes. Squeeze, honey. Squeeze away. Actually, squeezing is kind of annoying. Hmm. I'm going to use my finger instead. Put a little bit on the back of the hand and use my finger. Oh, yeah. I like using my finger way more. I feel like it more gets... Look at that. Squeeze, finger, mm, come on, down the sides of my nose. A little of this concealer goes such a long way, I love it. Let's go ahead and start blending it away. How have you guys been? I feel like I have not filmed in a little bit of a minute. No, I'm just kidding, I filmed like fucking yesterday and the day before that, what the fuck am I saying? I like this concealer because it is very hydrating, it's not like a drying concealer whatsoever, and so therefore it creases less than a drying concealer would, so I really do like that effect of this concealer. Now go ahead and set your under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder or whatever powder you guys like that works for you. I personally just like the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because it works so nicely for my skin type. It really sets everything in place. It's lightweight, but it's still heavy. It sounds weird, but it really is like a lightweight, heavy powder. It really works at keeping like oils at bay, keeping you from creasing, everything you could possibly want from a powder. This really does ensure that. And I'm using this on an E48 by Morphe. You guys, I need to tell you guys a secret. Not even a secret, it just... I just what what's happening. Um, so Morphe is discontinuing their Elite Collection brushes. I know, I know, I'm devastated. Tons of people were telling me on Twitter, they were like, "Hey, so the brushes you've been using on your YouTube, like, and you're linking them, because I I do link all my brushes that you use on my description bar. Like, I'm always pretty good with linking everything. They're like, "Hey, the brushes that you're using are not available on Morphe anymore." And I'm like, "What do you mean?" So I go on Morphe's site, and they're not there. And so I'm like, "What?" So then I text the owner of Morphe. 
And I'm like, yo, so I'm just curious, like, the Lee brushes, like, what's going on with them? What's happening? So when they first came out with the Lee brushes, they were supposed to be limited edition. And because they were so freaking popular, they ended up becoming kind of permanent or like staying on a lot longer than they were originally going to. So that's kind of like the backstory of the Elite brushes. What's going on is that they're actually coming out with a different set of brushes, very similar to the Elites, and they're taking away the Elites. So if you guys are wondering like why the brushes I have been using have not been on site, have not been on the website, is because all the brushes that are there right now are the last ones of the Elite brushes. If you like any of the brushes that are there, get them while you can because they are on sale and they'll be gone soon. So for now, just bear with me with the brushes I'm using because these are, the, these are the ones I have. So until they send me the next batch of the new brushes they're using, I won't be using those till I have them. It's just how I rinse. And just how I rinse. As you see from the title, today's video is using the Swamp Queen palette by Graveyard Girl and Tarte. She's doing a freaking collab with Tarte. She did a collab with Tarte. What the fuck? Like, that's so amazing. So congratulations, Bunny. I'm, I'm so proud of you and you should be so proud of yourself. You know what I mean? This palette is absolutely beautiful. I'm so so happy for you. So I'm just gonna bronze up the skin with Sweet Tea, which is the bronzer in this palette, on a Morphe M527, which is still permanent on their site. This is like the MAC dupe brush for the bronzer. So we're just gonna dip into that a little bit. Oh, it's pigmented as fuck, got it. Oh, dust a little bit off and then start going in and bronzing. How is this color? So this color is like a really warm terracotta brown with some gold shimmer to it. It's very, very, very subtle, it's not too intense but it just gives you a nice, pretty, bronzy color. Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a little bit more on the like warm orange side of a bronzer, but we are in summer, so that's totally fine with me. And I'm really into like warm, orangey bronzers anyway. It's actually funny because I get clocked all the time on social media for my bronzer being too warm for my skin, but I'm like, if I like it, I like it, bro. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. <laughs> Isn't it so cool how like all these YouTubers are coming out with collaborations? Like I'm so excited for everyone. It's just such a cool thing. Like I'm just so proud of all these YouTubers collabing with different brands and not only just small Instagram brands, but like huge brands like Tarte and like Nikki Tutorials doing one with Too Faced coming up and Jacqueline of course with Becca. It's just so amazing to see these brands and trusting into youtubers enough to want to collaborate with them and yes nikki jacqueline and bunny are all fucking huge youtubers and they're all like killing it they're the queens of the game but still like the brand interested them enough they're not celebrities they're not in movies you know what i mean to endorse a product it's just so cool to see youtubers get this kind of like reaction and get these kind of opportunities even though they're just on youtube you know what i mean so it's just so cool to see that and i'm just very proud of everyone that's done collab so far and i just I hope they keep coming and I hope they're just as amazing as the ones that have been coming out. I'm gonna highlight the under eye really quickly with my Marc Jacobs Instamark, of course, E48, same brush. And I'm just gonna highlight the under part of my eye. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of that powder and run it underneath my bronzer to make it more of a clean, sharper appearance. Where it doesn't look so muddy and harsh, you feel me? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC Shade Stir, just to contour a little bit underneath the bronzer on a new brush by Morphe. This is the G40. It looks really like an awesome contouring brush and I tried it once and I loved it so I'm gonna keep trying it see what I think about it and so I'm just gonna dip into it barely not too much it's small and defined but it like I feel like it can really like contour a bitch out you know so let's go and start contouring a little bit yeah see I knew like I fucking knew this was gonna be a bomb ass contour brush like I just knew it I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and run over it the whole thing just to make sure there's no harsh lines and edges just to make everything a little soft and daintier again. Of course, I'm gonna be taking the blush that's in this palette. This is the blush called Does This Thing Really Work? And I think that's from her series on YouTube, like, does this really work? So I'm gonna take that on a Morphe E3 brush or any kind of blush brush that you wanna use, use that brush. And I'm just gonna lightly dust, oh my God, it's pigmented. I'm just gonna very lightly press and dust off. It's like a pinky blush with some gold reflect in it. So we're just gonna do a light layer of this. Please tell me it's a light, Ooh. A very pretty soft pink layer. Okay, cool, so we have the blush on now, and let's go ahead and highlight, because there's a highlighter in this palette too. It's called Gator Wings. That is the most perfect name for Bunny I've ever heard. It's so adorable, Gator Wings. So we're gonna go and highlight with that color, and I love the blush. I think it's very, very, very pretty, and it's gonna be universally beautiful on so many different skin tones, so I think they did an amazing job with that. So let's go and highlight a little bit. I'm gonna take a Morphe M510, and I think, honestly, the whole entire palette, this is what I'm the most excited for, is the highlighter, because it is absolutely stunning. So freaking pigmented. You need to be careful with this horror, because it is intense, but in the best way. And I can just see, like, it just, come on. Dude, look at this highlighter! Like, what the freak? Basically, it's like a champagne gold shade. 
It's a very, very, very lightweight, and it almost looks it can, like it can be white on some tones, but it's a very just beautiful champagne gold. It has gold undertones in it, so it's going to be universally stunning on so many different skin tones. So I think, again, such a beautiful highlighter. It's very intense. Like, I love it. Do you know funny too, like with highlighter? I get a lot of hate on the amount of highlight I put on, and like a lot of like people, a lot of people say that like it doesn't look good on me, and it emphasizes my texture and whatnot, and it's like, yo, if I have texture, which I do, I'm a fucking dude, I have big pores, like whatever, I have texture, why, why avoid something if you have texture? Like, who cares? Who cares? Like, I used to be so insecure about my texture on my skin, and I would want to avoid highlighter because I was so scared of what people would say because I do have, like, texture on my skin. But now I'm like, I literally do not give a single solitary titty about what people say about my texture because I have texture and I'm living with it. Who gives a shit? If you want to wear a fucking pound of highlighter on your face, just do it. It doesn't matter what anyone's saying about your face or your texture or your skin. Do it. It's what makes you happy. If it makes you happy, do it. I like to wear a lot of highlighter, and yes, I have texture on my skin, and yes, I have bumps on my face, but... I don't give a fuck. So, please do if you guys like it. Please wear highlighter. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm done with the face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the eyes now. Okay, cool. So, we are back now. My brows are done and my eyes are primed. So, let's go and get started with the eyes now. I'm so excited to be doing this tutorial. I actually asked you guys on Twitter and on Snapchat what you guys wanted to see. If you guys wanted to see more of a bold eye dramatic look or a natural eye look with a more bold lip. I think it was literally like 52% was bold eye look and the rest was natural eye look. I'm gonna just follow what you guys are asking of me and I'm gonna do a bold dramatic eye look with this palette today. So first things first we're gonna go in with natural peaches on a Morphe E27 brush. Just any kind of fluffy blending brush will work and I'm just gonna take this shade into the crease. This is a very pretty natural like transition like peachy shade. It's literally called natural peaches so that's what it is. It's a natural peach transition. So then I'm going to take a Morphe M433, which is very similar to the MAC 217. It's a dupe for it. I absolutely love this brush. I literally have like seven of them. They're so good. You can always use the code MANNYMUA in all caps to save on Morphe. I'm a Morphe and affiliate. You guys probably know this by now. If you guys know me, you guys know that. They're just my favorite. I, I absolutely love Morphe. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take Man Cat on it, which is a purple deep plum shade. And that's going to go into my crease. Extremely, extremely pigmented, holy. And that's just gonna go into our crease, all the way into the inner corner because this look is gonna be more dramatic. I'm gonna take an Morphe E23 and blend out the top portion, just to make sure there's no harsh lines or edges. I really just don't like harsh lines. When blending or when doing any eye looks, even if I'm supposed to have a harsh line, I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm actually taking it from the bottom of my lower lash line out because I'm gonna make this whole entire look pretty smoky. So you should have something like this so far. So now I'm going to go in with a eye base. I'm already primed, but I'm going to go in with a different eye base. I'm going to take the Pure Eye Polish Base Top Coat in the shade Caviar. It's a very, very like dark greenish gold shade, and it's perfect because I want to go on my lid. I want to take the shade Sippy Sippy, which is a very deep mauve brown, but has tons of gold glitter in it. So that's, I think it'd be just perfect combined with these. So I'm going to take this Pure Eye Polish with its little Pure Applicator. I'm going to put that on the lid, close to the lash line and then blend it out as well. And I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush and blending out the edges of the eye polish. Taking more of that Man Cat shade, I'm gonna blend out the edges a little bit just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then I'm gonna be going over that eye base with Sippy Sippy. And now I'm gonna take a little packing brush. I'm just gonna take the one that Tarte already provided in this palette, because it's just, it's already here. And I'm gonna take the shade Sippy Sippy, which is a very dark brown plum with basically like gold greenish reflect glitter in it. And you have to be careful because this, this shadow is pretty powdery only because it does have a lot of glitter in it so it will kick up a lot. So just be sure to really wipe off the brush when you're doing it, dust it off with your finger, and then pat on and do patting motions right over the eyeshadow base that we used. Okay guys, so you should have this so far. It's a very, 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 very intense, smoky outer corner eye. What I did off of camera, because I was trying to figure out how to like blend out the crease without it getting too like blurred and blended together. What I grabbed was Dogman, a little bit on an M433, and I blended right in between the darkest part of the purple and my skin tone just to give me some more life back into the look. Because everything was so cool toned, it was starting to look a little bit more like black eye punched me in the eye kind of thing. If that ever starts to happen, add a little bit more warmth to the look and it will literally save the look. I swear to you, it will. I'm just gonna grab a Morphe M422, just like a little packing brush and the shade Big Baby. I'm gonna put that on the brow bone just a little bit just to give me 
a little bit of a brow lift right here. Definitely just be careful with that sippy sippy shade because it does have a lot of glitter in it and there will be a lot of fallout if you aren't really paying attention. I did get a lot of fallout when I was packing it on and it was kind of ruining my makeup so I had to like re like put on powder on my face. Just be careful with it. It's nothing, I mean, it's a glittery shade. Most glittery shades have fallout. Just a forewarning for you guys. So what we're gonna do is just gonna keep blending out this crease to make sure that there's no harsh edges. I wish I had more lid space, man. There's just not enough, I want more. Let's go ahead and do a wing. I feel like a wing will also help as well to make everything a little bit more cohesive and blend it together. So go ahead and do a wing, whatever kind of wing you want to do. If not, I mean, you don't have to, of course. Of course you don't have to, if you, it's just like if you guys want to. But I do want to. I'm going to take my Kat Von D Trooper liner, and I'm going to create a wing from the bottom of the lash line outwards, like so. Ooh, it's going to be a dramatic wing then. Okay, I see you. And just go ahead and start filling that in. Come on, vampy ass fuck. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the eyes. Now I'm gonna do the bottom of the eye. Originally, I was going to do man cat and keep it all cohesive and purple down here, but because I feel like it all started getting too meshed together with everything and I had to add a lot of orange and warm tones to it to bring it back to life, I'm just gonna continue on with the orange and warm tones underneath my lash line just to make sure we don't like close off anything and make it look too like black eye kind of thing. So I'm going to mix Natural Peaches and Dogman again on my lower lash line. I'm going to bring that all the way in to make sure everything looks a little bit more warm and alive. I was trying my best to do like a cool tone look, but honestly it's so easy to go from like cool tone to dead in a second. In a fucking second. It's so fast. Okay, cool. So then I'm going to highlight a little bit as well just because we got to do it. We have to do it. I'm going to take a Morphe M326 and I'm actually going to take Gator Wings. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Just to really give me some life back to the eye and awaken everything up. A little bit on the brow bone as well. A very small amount. So I was going to take a cream color liner in my waterline, which of course you guys can do. That would be so absolutely beautiful. But because this is Graveyard Girl and this is her palette and she's so bold and intense and really, really cool. I'm going to take a bold waterline color. <laughs> I'm going to take the ColourPop Cry Baby, the lavender pencil. And I'm gonna put that in my waterline just to give me an open wig. Luckily, because it is a light baby lavender color, it's still going to open up my eyes, but not be like the classic white or beige color. I don't know, I just, I've been wanting to do some more fun, incorporating some more fun colors, so this is what I'm gonna do. Honestly, you can barely even tell that it's purple. It just looks like a cool, lighter color. Amazing, so go ahead and curl your lashes and apply some mascara and falsies if you would like. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like with the lashes and liner and everything is on with mascara and everything. I think it turned out so freaking cool and it's so sexual and like smoky and very like come hither bitch or you die kind of thing. So this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in to see what they look like up close. And just for reference, the lashes I'm wearing are Russian Black by New Bounce. Um, they have been my favorite lashes recently. I just am so loving them so much. And they I feel like they just go with every single look. So that's why I've been liking them. Let's go ahead and move on to the lips now. So I decided that I want to go in with one of Graveyard Girl's colors that she did with Tarte. This is in the shade Texas Toast. I'm kind of nervous because I don't do colors like this ever. I don't like like those grayish purple tones on my lips. I just think they don't look good on me. I have not worn like a lip like this in a very, very long time. If you guys go into my channel, you will notice that I do not wear like grayish purple tones on my lips ever. Literally ever. You will not see them on me. So I'm going to try this out. I'm very, very excited. I want to try it. I'm like going to be brave for you guys and for Bunny. I love you. They're such a beautiful, moussey, lightweight texture. What are we thinking? Be honest. I think it looks so beautiful. And if you're into that cool tone, like grayish purple type tones on your lips, like you're going to be obsessed with this color and the formula. It's such a comfortable, easy, lightweight formula. And I think you guys will really, really like it. And this is the final look. And that is it for the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun creating this for you guys. So, so, so excited that this palette is coming out very, very soon. I was just looking on Bunny's Instagram, and this palette does come out on June 6th, I believe, and then that's going to be on Tarte's website, and then I believe after that, 
is when like the other stores are going to be having them like Macy's, Sephora, Ulta. Those are the other stores that are going to be probably carrying this palette as well because they carry Tarte. So yeah, that's it. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Everything will be linked down below as well as links and discount codes and brushes and everything that you could possibly need for today's video. Everything will be linked down below as it always is. My description is always pretty fucking on point. If I do say so myself, I think it is. I'm going to go film another video right after this right now. I'm going to film my <laughs> favorite video. Like, grab. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys very, very soon. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. I love you. Mwah. Come on, Ari. Yeah. This little hair right here is driving me up the wall. Okay, guys. So this is how the... <clears throat> I just had to roll up. It's like making me phlegmy. <clears throat> Can you hear my chair squeaking? I feel like it's really fucking loud. Is it? I need WD-40. Clock the hair. Clock the mug. Blush that's inside this palette. This is the does this really work? Oh shit, I got it wrong. <laughs> Mom! Mom? You're too loud. Of course I'm gonna take the blush that's in this palette. Ah! How close can I really get though? Let's be honest. Because bitch is in underwear.